No one dislikes you. But I have three sons, and I would like them to maintain their masculinity. I do want grandchildren, and I do want them to have a natural wedding with a man and a woman. Okay? Yeah. That doesn't mean I hate your community. That doesn't mean I dislike you. You do whatever you choose to do. But as far as me and my children, I want grandchildren. Okay? And I want my children, as they are born, to continue to know that their body parts is... They were created the way they were supposed to be. I don't want my children to walk around feeling like there is something wrong with them. Like something is not right. Because that's not even a reality. Hold on, my camera is tripping. What's that? Can you see me? Okay. Well, yeah, I'm on. Yeah, so... You know, I have a 15-year-old. My son, is. he says some things like he's tired. My mom's tired of walking around seeing these certain things. And you know what I find amazing? They are There are more flags up for the LGBT community than there are American flags or even a flag promoting natural, normal way of life. Not saying that there's something wrong with you but the reality of it is that it's not natural you were not born that way you chose that lifestyle and I always give this analogy it's like someone who wants to drink or do a specific drug you may get an urge to do it but if you need whatever you need out of life whether you are looking for a job or you know it's not healthy for your body Right? So you may get an urge. You know that it's not right, but you may get an urge. That's like anything in life, but you do not have to act upon it. Young people, don't think because you feel a little something when you see the same sex that that is who you are naturally. You know, I can remember seeing a female or, you know, saying, oh, she pretty, and maybe even felt a little something, but I knew that, that w that's not a natural order or way of life for me now I don't knock anyone else but I know that my body my ovaries my womb was made to create life and I cannot create life with another vagina and that's the reality of it so no matter what they say no matter how many psychologists that they get to agree with this point the reality of, of it is naturally you cannot reproduce life without semen and an egg being fertilized in the womb, in the uterus, okay? So all of this, this is the way it is, this is the way we chose, blah, 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 blah. Young people, okay, come on now. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. Nobody needs to convince you as to what your body is for. I know they use our bodies as sexual objects, but the reality of it is breast, 